213 feet on my trolley. 213 feet of 230 feet. I'm right by the base of the other crane. That's how far I am. Welcome back boys to another episode here and I am going to show you exactly how deflection works on a tower crane. Deflection is a force that you have to deal with when you're working with large cranes like this. You know, the bigger the crane, the longer the jib, the more deflection you're going to have. I know a lot of you guys are probably familiar with that in a mobile setting, but in a tower crane setting, it is also uh, a factor you have to uh, be aware of so that you can uh, counter for it. So you can take it into account and improve your operating. Now look at that. See how that leans over there? But that's not a big deal. You still got some panel on the ground. And now the panel's off and it moves out. See that? It's going away and it hits that little piece of whatever that material is. And I'm going to go into a description of how to counteract that motion. I should have just trolleyed out to compensate for the deflection, but essentially this panel is so heavy that it was pulling the whole crane down and out. So that means that if I'm right above the two pick points in the panel, but the crane is now down and out, where my, well my tr my block is actually further out than it should be. So the weight beneath it is going to correct and swing out. Uh, but let's just w let's just put this panel on the wall first. And I'm coming in here uh, to close up this wall from the north side. This is a big panel. I think it's 20 feet by... Which side do you want to go? Here or that side? 20 by 20 maybe? It ain't eight. small. The weight of this panel is about 5,000 pounds. Pretty well. I'm pretty close to the side closer to you. But uh, there's a portion in... Um, yeah, that went pretty well. It's always a little bit of a, you know, read and react situation when you're lifting something that far out. You don't want to lead lead it too much when you take the tension and it goes completely vertical because then you'll pull it and it could the bottom could um, slide off of the platform you're lifting off of uh, so it's really tough to be right bang on but I was close enough I was actually my block was actually a little bit in when I first took the weight but because I'm so far out the deflection pulls my jib down and that makes um, the load swing out because when the jib goes down the crane actually goes forward it's like this and then it so where my block is right here on the jib under tension under weight it actually is farther out so with all that weight I should have I should have if I wanted to be perfect, I should have corrected and actually trolleyed in a little bit, knowing that. Hey, buddy, uh, get to start trolleying, buddy. Five thousand pounds out there would have. In about uh, twenty feet. Thrown off my center of gravity by a couple of feet. Keep coming. Five more. And there's just a little swing there to your right, buddy. Yeah. Start coming down nice and easy. Have about uh, four feet. Yeah. Coming. Yeah, we're putting a path looking good. Inches. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hold that. Keep going. 
You see that panel's trying to come off there? I'm just going to give a nice little swing to the right, just to suck it up tight to the rebar. Beautiful. Lock that out and we're good to go. These big panels are actually really easy to land because I have 5,000 pounds to work with and when you land the panel, you want to you wanna leave about half the weight on the hook. So I land, the panel touches, I see my reader go from 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2.5 and then that's good. Because I want a solid connection, I want the bottom plate to be solidly on the slab you know, I don't. You can't be bouncing. So, so you have a lot of weight to work with. If if, it, if the panel is five thousand pounds, if the panel is only a thousand pounds, and you have a big crane like this, it's really hard to go. You know, to only get five hundred without it being bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. But I'm only at hundred and fifty feet on my trolley now, so it's a lot easier to do at hundred and fifty feet than at two hundred and thirty feet. At 230 feet, you have to be very smooth if you want to have zero bounce. Tough. Hey, I'm going to just come up a little tiny click that I can use the bird bar over a shot. Is that good? You want me to come right up? Oh, that's good. That's good. So yeah, that's pretty much it, boys. That's a good description of a deflection. And as you can see, we're just closing these panels. I hope you really enjoy. Um, wherever you're watching this, please Easy follow. Easy money. That's how it's done, baby girl. Baby girl. I'm a busy guy, I got a family, I work six days a week, but I try to put these videos as much as I can. If you're a young operator, there's lots of good tips and tricks in here, especially if you're a rigger also. So thanks for watching boys, sayonara.